Hi guys, Linda Antwi with the Red Carpet Report. We are here at the Paley Center for the nominee announcement for the NAACP Image Awards. We're going to speak to a couple of people and maybe find out who got nominated this year. Let's go check it out. So thank you so much, Chairman. Um, I'm wondering if you could speak a little bit about the NAACP Image Awards and how long they've been around and why they're important. Sure. The NAACP Image Awards has uh, been around for um, over 43 years. This will actually be our 44th production. It uh, serves two purposes. It actually um, highlights the achievements and accomplishments of African Americans and other ethnic minorities both in front of and behind the cameras. It also affords us an opportunity to uh, highlight and appreciate the work of individuals that work toward the mission and the accomplishments of the NAACP. That's amazing. And do you feel over the years that you've seen that there has been such advancements, not only in front of the camera, but behind the camera? Oh, yes, but m most certainly. Uh, you know, 43 years ago, mm -hmm. when the Image Awards were started, there was no Denzel Washington receiving recognition from the majority press. There was no recognition uh, for a Halle Berry. So the Image Awards became a opportunity for those individuals to be recognized. I still though believe that in today's environment where recognition for individuals of color has improved that there's always a place for the Image Awards because there is nothing like receiving recognition from our own community and the Image Awards still serves to fill that gap. Absolutely and I think of the Shonda Rhimes, um, you know even uh, the Yvette Browns and all these people that are, are not only doing so much, but also bringing people along, up, up and newcomers with them. So I think that that's very important. You know, one of the responsibilities I think that we all face is to reach back and bring someone along with us or in fact kind of play it forward. It's one of the reasons why I'm so actively involved in the NAACP. I grew up in a small southern town in northern Alabama. Uh, was a f one of the first six African-American young kids to integrate a formerly white school. Uh, went to the University of Alabama when Governor George Wallace told me that I couldn't, shouldn't, wouldn't be there. And I recognize that everything that I have achieved personally and professionally over all those years, I owe in great part to the sacrifices of individuals that formed and continue the work of the NAACP. So I'm proud to be a member of the NAACP, a life member of the NAACP. And for everyone out there, if you're not a member of the NAACP, please join in and support us and become a part of this wonderful work that we do. Absolutely. And if they wanted to join, where would they go? Uh, they can go to our uh, NAACP website at www.naacpnet.org. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. No, really. Like this video. Don't worry. I'll wait.